こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。ビジネスプレゼンで使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real world examples that highlight its transformative impact.
Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success, labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real-world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success, labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real-world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am excited to explore a critical aspect of business strategy that often goes overlooked but holds immense potential for shaping organizational success, labor share of income. We'll delve into the advantages of leveraging labor share of income in business strategy, supported by real-world examples that highlight its transformative impact. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, 
understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. Labor share of income refers to the portion of national income that is allocated to labor in the form of wages, salaries, and benefits. In the context of business strategy, understanding and optimizing labor share of income can lead to several significant benefits, both for businesses and the broader economy. One of the primary advantages of considering labor share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages.
One of the primary advantages of considering labor's share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor's share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor's share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor's share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor's share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. One of the primary advantages of considering labor's share of income in business strategy is its potential to enhance employee engagement, productivity, and retention. Let's take the example of Costco Wholesale Corporation, a multinational retail giant known for its employee-friendly policies and generous compensation packages. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success.
Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor's share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success.
Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Costco allocates a significant portion of its revenue towards employee wages and benefits, resulting in higher employee morale, job satisfaction, and loyalty. As a result, Costco enjoys lower turnover rates, higher productivity levels, and a positive reputation as an employer of choice. By prioritizing labor share of income, Costco has cultivated a highly motivated and committed workforce, which directly contributes to its competitive advantage and long-term success. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing.
Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing. Moreover, optimizing labor share of income can also lead to broader economic benefits, including increased consumer purchasing power and sustainable economic growth. Consider the case of Henry Ford and the introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. By doubling the wages of his factory workers, Ford not only improved employee living standards but also created a new class of consumers who could afford to purchase the cars they were producing.
This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. 
Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. This decision not only boosted employee morale and productivity but also stimulated demand for Ford automobiles, leading to exponential growth in sales and profitability. Ford's innovative approach to labor share of income not only benefited his own company but also contributed to the overall prosperity of the economy. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, 
a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Furthermore, a balanced distribution of income between labor and capital can foster social stability, reduce income inequality, and promote inclusive economic growth. Take the example of Mondragon Corporation, a federation of worker cooperatives based in the Basque region of Spain. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. Mondragon operates on the principle of democratic ownership and profit sharing, where employees have a say in the decision-making process and receive a share of the company's profits. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices.
This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. This equitable distribution of income has not only created a sense of ownership and empowerment among employees, but has also narrowed the wealth gap and promoted social cohesion within the community. As a result, Mondragon has emerged as a model for sustainable and socially responsible business practices. In conclusion, 
Considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you.
In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. In conclusion, considering labor's share of income in business strategy can lead to a myriad of benefits, ranging from enhanced employee engagement and productivity to broader economic prosperity and social well-being. By prioritizing fair and equitable compensation practices, businesses can create a virtuous cycle of growth, prosperity, and shared value for all stakeholders. Thank you. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。